All right, so it's a new day. Um, I just finished working out, so sorry if I sound a little out of breath. I was gonna take a shower, but then my brother's in the bathroom, and frankly, if my brother's in the bathroom, I don't know when he's coming out. <laughs> in the meantime, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start working on a couple other things that I uh, that I mentioned in the other uh, the other cut. I'm gonna try and get this power supply stuff situated, and I'm gonna go ahead and dock my camera onto this tripod so that it'll look over to here, so I can get a nice webcam that's gonna kind of look like this, uh, you know, like to use this to use as a webcam instead of using this thing anymore. I'm probably still gonna use this because obviously it's not a, well, it, it's pretty bad, <laughs> but the C920 does its job, so I'll find a way to purpose this again. But for now, I do want to kind of upgrade since I do have a mirrorless to be able to use it every now and then. And um, I do want to get into gaming pretty soon. For those of you who know from a while back, I used to have a gaming channel. It was called Anuki Plays and I just did kind of Let's Plays, right? There weren't usually, well, some of them were edited, but a lot of it was just kind of long game uh, game plays, right? Of me just playing uh, stuff like Kingdom Hearts and uh, other games like that. I want to get back into that and that's actually also the reason why I dumped so much money into my PC, just so that not only do I have editing capabilities, but I also have gaming capabilities. So I want to be able to kind of launch that gaming channel because I love playing games still. I don't, I'm not necessarily Necessarily burned out of like you know Modern Warfare or Call of Duty or anything like that because I don't play it enough. I'm, I'm an editor, so I don't get to play Call of Duty a lot. So that allows me to be able to still enjoy Call of Duty, and I still obviously enjoy other games, and I want to get into that. Also, I'm gonna start rolling with the crew pretty soon. If you don't know my friend Zach, you probably know him by now. He's shown up in my channel a lot. Oh, by the way, I have Zach, my friend, recording for me. By the way, he also brought his lights and stuff. Don't think you're special. What? Um, I hang out with his friends every now and then, and we play games on his streams. So I might go ahead and do some videos with him and his friends. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck so we you. All wanted the, we all want this to finish. Uh, sorry. Also want the tub. Yeah. Ooh, oh, see, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! See <laughs> my pain! Feel my pain, you asshole. <laughs> and if you follow my Twitter, you'll probably know about Uwu Chat, which is a Twitter chat that I have with just me and a bunch of friends, and it's nothing really like too exclusive or anything like that. Although I'm going to be making it pretty soon because I actually want it, uh, well, I want us to make some content together. So we'll be like playing games with Uwu Chat type things. So if you subscribe to my gaming channel, I'll put it in the description. I'm not gonna post just yet, but I'm preparing for it, which is what this whole, you know, what this is gonna be, what the webcam is gonna be. I'm also gonna have lights here, which are coming in pretty soon. And I, I'm, as you're gonna see pretty soon, once I set this thing actually up lighting is not very optimal in this place I mean it's pretty okay right now with the with the you know with the lights on but when I turn it off you're gonna notice it's not it doesn't perform very well so for now I just kind of want to prepare for that and it's gonna be something that's gonna happen in the near future so hopefully I can get that all sorted out okay good afternoon everyone um, the day started a little late for me because I woke up with a stomach ache and I couldn't get out of bed so you know I kind of rested rested for a little longer than I wanted to but it's all good um, it's still it's still broad daylight so we're good I'm off to go pick up a couple packages from the Amazon locker if you don't know um, you don't have to deliver straight to your house you can also deliver it to another location um, in my case the Amazon locker I have this because <laughs> it's at the Amazon locker because where I work the locker is right next to my work so after like after work or whatever I can just go swing by get my package and then drive back home and it's pretty seamless since then I obviously don't work anymore because of quarantine reasons but I forgot to leave that off of my default location so if I don't forget to change the address it's just gonna deliver there instead of my house so I got to go <laughs> pick them up and uh, yeah it should be uh, it's gonna be the lights as well as a couple clamps in order to clamp the lights to my desk and some other goodies so I will be right back and go grab them yes Successful. <laughs> these should be, let's see, oh, here we go, yeah. So these are the newer lights, here we go. Note that these are actually cheap lights, so don't expect too much, but I just need something to illuminate pretty well that'll go up against my monitors, so as long as I can give this camera enough light, I should be okay. Those already have a monopods attached to them, but I need a way to clamp them to my desk, so I brought some table clamps. You know, these sort of things so I can get them to clamp onto the table pretty nicely. I'm pretty sure these will work. They do have the quarter inch screws, so I'm pretty sure these will work with the monopods that are attached to them. Let's try, so let's see this. Uh, yeah, this has a, the quarter inch screw or whatever, the thread rather, yeah, the quarter inch thread. That'll go into here and then the other side, the top part, which will go actually into the lights over there. So that should be pretty handy, cool. Okay, I'm gonna start working on getting these lights 
clamped onto the table and over my monitor so I can get some good lighting for the camera that will be there, which will be this camera, obviously, to work as the webcam. And hopefully, I'll show, I'll show some comparisons with um, the Logitech webcam um, and this camera, both of which without the new lighting setup, so we can kind of compare and see how it goes and uh, hopefully that this does well. This is kind of like, these panels are obviously small, like they're small, uh, God. Here's an iPhone 11 for comparison. They're just barely that size, so they're pretty small. If you don't know too much about lighting, don't worry, I'm with you. <laughs> so you typically want something much bigger. That way the lighting will be cast wider rather than more direct. But if I have two of them, I think it should be okay for now. Obviously I'll upgrade it, but it, you, uh, yeah, you know, it, it, it'll do, it'll do. So we'll see how those go. So this is the picture that I get from the Logitech C920. Now it is terrible. It is not not properly lit. I don't have my light up yet from the lamp that I showed you before. However, this is what it looks like when I plug it in and do nothing to it. I haven't applied anything and this is how it looks like. And the thing to understand is that anybody who's used a Logitech C920 understands that the settings don't save. So every time I do correct the image and um, once I go into the settings and correct all the colors and stuff, that shit gets deleted as soon as I shut OBS down. That means I have to change it every single time. So this is the picture that I give stock. If I go ahead and turn on my lamp, that's a much better image. It's not very close to me, it's a little farther away and it's also more warmer light, but it's directed at my face and I get a little more light to it. So now the Logitech has a little more breathing room to figure out some, you know, color and brightness and all that sort of stuff. Basically, especially how webcams go, the more light you give it, the more information it's able to handle and the more information, the better, the better image it'll get, right? but obviously that lamp is not very bright. So now we're back with the lamp off, and now if I switch over to the Lumix G7, I get a picture like this, much better. It's just, it's objectively a better image quality, right? Even without a light. Now obviously the picture is very grainy, and that's because the lighting in this room is not very good, right? So I have to bump the ISO all the way up to 3200, which is, <laughs> if anybody knows anything about cameras and stuff, and you don't even have to know a lot to know that that's not very optimal as far as performance goes. That's more of like low, low light settings, and because of the way this room is lit, that's kind of what I have to work with. Now, if I bump the ISO down, now we're sitting in the ISO of 800. Obviously much darker, but that'll be optimal for the lighting that I'm going to be using pretty soon. With that being said, if I go ahead and turn on my lamp, now I get this. A little bit brighter. Again, the lamp is not very bright. It's <laughs> for the Logitech C920, it was enough light for the most part, kind of, for me to get the pictures that I got. And if you've ever been to my streams before, you would notice that, you know, it's not the best quality, but I did a pretty good job of making it look pretty all right. However, it is not ideal for my camera, which means I need more lighting. All right, and now that I have these two lights installed, I'm able to give myself much more light, which gives my webcam as well as my camera a little more information. So again, for reference, this is how the webcam looks like with just the lamp on. And now this is what it looks like with both the lights. Now, obviously, the picture is not great, right? Now, there's a couple things to remember. One, these lights are not expensive. They're very cheap lights. I bought them for like 50 or $60 for two of them, which is pretty fantastic. But the second thing to remember is, like I said in the beginning, I haven't done anything to this image yet. So right now, what you're looking at is if I were to plug in the C920, turn on the lights, this is what it looked like. After I do some correction to it, I might be able to get it better, but this is what you will look like. And this is probably what the average person would get, right? If they just plug in their Lo their Logitech camera and these cheap lights, they don't know too much. This is what they turn on and this is what they go live with. This is what you're gonna get if you don't mess with the settings. And even if I did mess with the settings, those settings are gone by the next time I go live again, right? So this is what it looks like. Back to my Lumix G7 camera, this is how it looks like with no lighting. This is how it looks like with my lamp. And this is what it looks like with the two lights turned on. Much better. Remember, in order to light the subject up, me, I had to crank the ISO all the way to 3200. Now the ISO is sitting at 800 and I am well lit up. This is, this is, this is fine. I can even probably crank it to 400. I'm a little underexposed, but that can always be adjusted but this is how it looks like now. But if you've ever been to my streams before, you'll know that this isn't actually how my scene usually looks. I usually have the lights off and I have uh, blue and pink lights behind me. So why don't I go ahead and turn those, or turn the lights off and turn those behind me on and see how that looks. So we're back on the C920 now. This is how it looks like with no lighting. This is what it looks like with the lamp turned on and this is how my streams usually look with the lighting. This is how my streams normally are. And finally, this is what it looks like with those two lights on. 
it's all right. It's actually a little overexposed, but I can obviously fix that. But this is kind of how it would look if I plugged in my uh, C920 and did nothing. Now, when we move over to my Linux G7, this is what the picture looks like. Super dark, zero lighting. That's to be expected. <laughs> this is how it looks like with that lamp turned on. Still dark, um, not enough to brighten my face at all. Remember, 800 ISO. And now with the cheap lights turned on, this is how I look. Much better. Now, obviously, you're still going to get like shadows if I like move my face up. It's a little, this is kind of how it's going to be if the light's small. Like I mentioned before, um, this is why you want bigger lights to diffuse the light a little more. So you're going to get shadows. You also find shadows behind me more common. Um, actually, the, the pink and the blue lights actually help. If I turn those off, you'll actually see it a lot worse. So um, this is kind of how it looks like with those two lights. Now, you're probably wondering, this is still not that good, honestly. It's a very cool picture. Uh, cool meaning not like a good looking picture, but rather the temperature is cool. It's kind of bluish, right? Well, if I go ahead and apply a LUT, I can bring some color back. And if I apply and if I mess or if I mess with the color correction a little bit, I can really rejuvenate the color and make this a very good picture. And I am super happy with the quality of basically what everything is going to be going for, um, for the streams, for the videos, everything. So I'm super pumped that I now have a setup that works like this with a very beautiful picture like this. And I can shoot in 60 FPS too. You're not seeing in this video because it's in 30 FPS. So actually it's in 24 FPS because I shoot in 24, F uh, you know, it's whatever. I just shoot in 24 because I'm used to it, but I'm able to shoot 60 FPS for like stuff like gameplay, you know, so that'll be awesome to have. And the picture on this is phenomenal as you can see. So for the final point of comparison, that's how the Lumen G7 looks and this is how the Logitech C920 looks. Again, I want to preface this, not a bad picture and it, the C920 is not a bad webcam. I mean, I, it, I drove it with my streams for a very long time and obviously I don't stream a lot, but it's a very popular webcam if you just need something to get yourself off the ground. It's 1080p, I'm going to say that with air quotes because it, it, it's a very not high quality 1080p, but it is a 1080p webcam that can act as a way to get your image onto your screen. So I, I want to say that this is not a bad webcam. Remember, this is like, what, like a hundred-ish dollars, 50 to a hundred dollars, depending on where you find it. There's a newer version that's even more expensive, like the C922X or something like that. You can look up reviews and decide if that's what you want to do. But I use this webcam for years and I was very happy with it. But now I actually have a, 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 I actually have a mirrorless camera, my Lumix G7. And now I have the ability to use it as a webcam. And this is obviously a better picture for me. Am I telling you to go out and buy a camera like a DSLR or a mirrorless just for this kind of quality? No, not really, because you probably don't need it. You need to understand what you need before, you know, you actually go and buy it. But necessary buy versus, you know, buys that you want to do. I don't know what you call it. Want versus need, right? That, that's something that you have to deduce for yourself. And for me, I already had this camera and I use this camera for shooting and stuff. And, it's, and to be honest, in 2020, it's not the best camera. For the time, it was, it, you know, I was very happy with it. I didn't have anything, right? But I have the ability to use something I already have as a webcam. So why don't I do that? And that's why I'm using this. So C920, not bad. It is what it is. But I have a mirrorless camera, so I might as well use it. And now there's one thing I still have to fix, and that is the framing. So as you can see, this is kind of how the framing is. It's not it's not punched in super close, but it is closer than I'd actually want it. And I actually want, if I switch over to the C920 here, the C920 is much more farther back and I have a little more, you know, room to interact and stuff. And I'm, I'm a person who, if when I'm, when I'm gaming, when I'm editing, I move around a lot. I do this. I sit over here, I move my mic all the way over here, I slouch and move my mic down here. You know, I have a very wide range of motion, so it's hard for me to be able to justify a close punch in like this. Now with my lens, I can actually pull back a little bit. However, if I go ahead and do that, now you see my monitor protruding right here. And that's just because this is this is my monitor right here. And I can't do anything about this because the camera is on the highest position of my tripod as possible. Plus, this is actually lower than my monitor usually is. I usually have this much higher, so I even even then, like, I can't do anything about it. So I need to raise my camera up a little higher. And that's where these come in. So I went ahead, I love these little table clamps so much that I actually thought of doing the same idea for the camera because as you can see, it's on the tripod and this is actually, this th this right here is as extended as I can get this camera. And as you can see, it's just barely looking over my monitor 
to get the image and it's just not it's not uh, well it's ideal it's fine for that punched in look but like i said i want a little close in so the best way i can think of to do so is to get another one of these selfie stick monopods kind of like this one actually came with the light panels themselves so i wanted something similar looks like this will do the job it has the quarter inch screw which will screw into the bottom of the camera which is kind of what i was going for so i went ahead and got the, the monopod i got another table clamp so the monopod should be able to clamp onto one of the quarter inch screws and i'll be able to clamp this camera onto the monopod like this just like kind of on top like that except probably like right here or something and then I can have some extra vertical height to go as high as I really need to but honestly once I don't need it to be too high as long as it's closer to this monitor because right now there's quite some distance like there's, there's more than a hand distance away from the monitor the, 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 it's too easy to grab the monitor inside the frame so if I can get the camera closer which I can't do obviously this is as close as a tripod is going to get to my desk obviously don't mind the cables <laughs> I mentioned I cable managed but it's still a work in progress um, but this is as close as I can get it with the tripod so hopefully with the monopod clamp directly onto the table I could bring it much closer and much higher if, if needed so I think that solution is gonna work so let's see if it does okay so this is the image with the camera on the tripod this is the closest I can get without having the monitor in frame as you can see it is not in frame at the moment okay and this is the shot with the camera on the monopod that's clamped to my desk much closer and just actually is lower than the tripod before but since it's closer it's able to clear this monitor and actually this is I can actually go even uh, farther back if I wanted to I can pull back just a little bit and <laughs> the monitor is still not there so I can go even wider if I want to so this is so much better and now that I'm able to clear the monitor I have a much wider view if I go ahead and go to my stream view if I were to go like this um, I'd have to uh, mess with the framing a little bit in my webcam but like because I'm probably gonna say like this so yeah I'll have to adjust where the camera sits a little bit but this is already much better so I am super pumped with this picture not only is it better but this basically everything saves and it looks great it looks beautiful I'm still obviously going to mess with the color uh, the colors a little bit so you know it won't perfectly be like this but as you can see it's very flexible so this is already great I have some lights to back myself up I have a good image quality and I'm ready to start streaming making videos and doing all that sorts of stuff again so be on the lookout and as you can already tell from the videos that have been on my channel for the past couple of weeks you know I'm, I'm trying to transition and hopefully this will add to it so yeah now I'd like to point out this isn't a perfect solution and as you can probably tell as you're watching this there's a lot of wobble and that's obviously to do with my table wobbling because obviously this isn't a very good table but I also have a relatively heavy camera on a very skinny tripod or a monopod rather and that's clamped onto a table not even you know anything else so and said table is very wobbly so if I'm sitting here playing games or something uh, moving around and stuff you can you'll notice the camera bobbing around and obviously there is not too much you can do about it, but when I'm in this wide view, if I'm like this, if I'm in stream, if I go ahead and enable all of this junk as if I was streaming, right? Have this stuff and I'm in this full screen view not doing too much obviously just talking to you talking straight to the camera not doing too much with my table I should be pretty okay but when I'm gaming you know uh, if I'm doing this let's say I'm playing a game I'm moving around doing all this type of stuff you won't notice it too too much but it is there so that is something to think about so it is not a perfect solution right it, it, it's not going to be perfect and just know before you try and replicate something that I'm doing you know just just things to think about I guess so it's, if it works for you hey it works it's working for me so far and it works for me in my use case so that is the solution I'm going with <laughs> okay that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed I know a different kind of pacing I suppose um, it's a little more chill a little more relaxed hopefully you guys enjoy these type of videos um, let me know if you want more of these I'd be very happy to keep doing them and I don't really have much to say so I'll see you in the next time I see you I guess <laughs> all right see ya